11, it's a child abuse case that grows more gruesome by the day. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jim Sackett. And I'm Kelly Dunn. Tonight, we are learning more about what happened in the Barraona home days before their daughter's body was found in a pickup along the interstate. We now know 10-year-old Nubia Barraona died a painful death, a death that her adoptive parents are accused of trying to hide, not only from the public, but also from Nubia's twin brother. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie joins us live from the Palm Beach County Jail with more tonight. Rochelle? Well, Kelly, that's right. We received this affidavit, affidavit earlier today, and it. it says that Carmen Barona tried to cover up the murder of little Nubia by telling her adoptive son, Victor, that his sister had went away. She was charged with first-degree murder this weekend. Tonight, the adoptive father, Jorge Barona, sits here still in the Palm Beach County Jail. The affidavit says that he used his hands to kill the little girl he was supposed to love. To think about the circumstances that led to people working in concert to perpetrate this kind of horror on their own children. The director for Miami Days Police Department describing the Barona couple as beyond evil. Jorge and Carmen Barona both face first degree murder charges and the death of 10 year old Nubia. The Miami Days state attorney says the facts in this case may lead to them seeking the death penalty. The people of Florida want the death penalty to apply to certain first-degree murder cases. Three days before Nubia was found dead and her brother in critical condition, the children were bound and put into a bathtub for hours. According to the affidavit, little Victor watched helplessly as his twin sister was picked up by Jorge and taken to the bedroom. He listened in horror as his sister screamed and cried while she was beaten and punched to death by her adoptive father. This is... In my experience, it's one of the saddest commentaries on the human condition that I've ever seen. The little girl was found three days later in a bag in the back of Jorge's pickup truck, dead, decomposing, and soaked in a hazardous liquid. Her brother Victor in critical condition in the passenger seat. It's depressing. It's sickening. The adoptive mother, Carmen Barona, also faces several counts of child neglect and abuse. Investigators say she covered up Nubia's death by telling Victor his sister had went away. The day before her murder, an investigator had went to the Barona home after a tip came in to the DCF hotline about abuse at the home. The affidavit says Carmen admitted to investigators she intentionally misled the DCF investigator about the whereabouts of the children. And investigators say that the chemicals used on the children is still being tested. Jorge has pleaded not guilty to the first degree attempted murder charge of Victor Barahona. Live in West Palm Beach, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV News Channel 5.